Like dead bush HOA violation. You are not going to believe what's continuing to happen here. The HOA sends another message with a $3,000 fine. They're not gonna like my answer. I got the perfect solution. This is getting really old. Whoever is behind the HOA nonsense needs to stop. With this being said, what's your experiences with HOA? Do you see a lot of nonsense that they have in rules and regulations? This is at least our second or third kind of letter or note from an HOA. So several months ago, we went on vacation. And while we were on vacation, apparently some unruly neighbors were a little frustrated that the grass alongside our creek was getting a little tall. So they sent us a complaint and asked us to basically take care of it. So I got back, opened that letter, and I thought, why would they care about our creek being 200 yards away. So I started looking at it and said, you know what, we'll trim it up, we'll clean it up real quick. And so here's a quick uh, clip of us cleaning up that area of the creek. And let us know if you thought it looked too bad. To be quite honest, I thought it looked better longer rather than shorter. We're gonna go through here and just knock it down as best we can. This is gonna take a while. But look how tall this is. It's hard saying how many snakes we're gonna tear up through here. So what are your thoughts on that grass? I want to be clear here. I did not cut the grass because we had a neighbor complain. I think it's nonsense. I cut the grass because it did look a little shaggy. I did let it get out of control, so I did take care of it. So a few weeks later, we got some more disturbing information. And here's the thing. At first, I must admit, we thought this was a joke, somebody being funny, somebody playing games with us, yada, yada, yada. So then we quickly realized someone is secretly watching our family while we're outside whether we're home or rather we're away so we received a note that they're going to turn us in to the hoa because we left our barn door open and then also we didn't bring our garbage can up to the road within like two or three days like i've never heard of some some of this stuff so i actually got on the internet started searching about hoas i did check our contract, our mortgage, there's nothing referencing HOAs anywhere. But check out how this is worded when it came to us. Titled HOA Violations. Eric, several of us in the HOA are unhappy with the attention your YouTube, Facebook page is drawing. We do not have a rule against what you are doing on social media, yet we will be reporting every violation we see, no matter how minor, until your family finds it financially better to move. So this past week, we noticed that not only did you leave the barn door open, but you also did not remove your trash can from the road within 24 hours specified in our HOA rules. So the subject of the email is tall grass violation. It reads, Eric, we are not sure if you've heard from Margaret yet. I want to inform you that we are continuing to see issues over at your property and the neighborhood is concerned. We have received many complaints about the upkeep of your lawn as a part of the HOA, there are financial penalties when maintenance isn't maintained. We have received another complaint from Margaret due to the long grass hanging across your driveway, along with your grass being too long. We recommend it be corrected by October 15th, or you could receive a $1,000 fine for this violation. Legit or not, why are HOAs so flaky? Why do they care? Like, you and I and others throughout the world are spending your hard-earned money paying for a property that got all these finicky rules. Like you buy a house, you buy a property, you should be able to do what you want with it. Let me know in the comments if you agree. Hold on though, it's not over yet. Wait till you hear this. While we were still battling COVID as a family, we received the most bizarre message. And that message came from an HOA. This time they were threatening a $1,000 fine if we didn't clean up the weeds in our driveway. 
Check out this short clip. The weeds weren't even that long. Granted, it needed to be done, but they were threatening to fine us $1,000 if we didn't clean up these weeds and get them taken care of. So again, while I didn't necessarily care about the letter, I did care that the driveway did look a little sloppy. I like it to look tidy. So I went out, did some work. Sadly, I must admit, I have not had the energy or time to get out there and actually finish that cleanup. So that's something I still need to do, but I'll do it on my time. But here is where things cross the line. Now we have another threatening email from the HOA. So we just received this email that if we do not take care of our bushes, we are going to get fined $1,000 per bush. Check this out. So here is the email. The subject, dead bush HOA violation. Eric, we have submitted another complaint to Margaret, but wanted to inform you that we are continuing to see more issues over at your property and the neighborhood is concerned. We have received many more complaints about the upkeep of your property. And as a part of the HOA, there are financial penalties when maintenance isn't maintained. We noticed your smaller bushes over near the tree line are dead, and this is against HOA policy. You have three bushes that need to be replaced. Three brown dead bushes that have been sitting there for months is ridiculous. They should be alive and well kept. The fine for upkeep, upkept. Bushes is $1,000 per bush. We recommend it be corrected by November 15, or you will receive a $3,000 fine. Clean up your property. No signature, no nothing. What kind of nonsense is that? I got thinking, I don't even see three dead bushes in front of our house. Then I read it again, realized it's on the side of the house. Yeah, we'll clean it up all right. We're going to clean it up just for you, and you're not going to like it. So we're gonna walk up here to the house. I'm gonna show you these three bushes or three little trees on the side of the house. As a matter of fact, a lot of you recommended I buy these. Granted, they haven't lived. Granted, maybe I could pull them out. Maybe I could get them to grow again. I have no idea. But this is cross the line and I'm gonna take care of it right here. So here are the bushes in question. I call them trees. There's some kind of fancy name for them that all of you told me. But as you can see, these are dead. The road's right there. So it is an eyesore, but they think this is unacceptable. They think that these should be removed. I got the perfect solution. You may be thinking, Eric, what are you doing? You're gonna just pull those out? No, it's better than that. I called Jessica and said, hey, I need you to do me a favor. Pick me up a couple things at the hardware store. So that's what she did. We're gonna grab it right now. And here's what we got, folks. She picked me up some spray paint. So tree's already dead. They want them to not look dead. They want to play games. We're going to paint these. Here we go. We got premium spray enamel. They want to play games. We're going to paint us some trees and they'll turn green. Uh, honey, I don't know. I don't think maybe we should do this. Why? I am sick of the harassment and we're doing it. What are they going to do? Fine us? Or make believe fines? Right. I guess. Silly That's like this. Okay. HOA, this is for you. We got a red tree or a brown tree now we're gonna have a green tree we'll be in a christmas spirit the hoa spirit should i do the whole thing or just the road facing side probably just the road facing sign you only have two cans Na angry neighbors, HOA, like people need to mind their own business. Yeah. See what Margaret thinks about this. 
She wants me to comply. I can't say it's going to look dead now. Well, here we go, my friends. We just finished up. Got it painted. How does that look, Margaret? We checked it out from the house. Looks pretty good. So should we paint these two as well? How does that work out for you, Margaret? And everyone at the HOA. But my guess is all this started from this video right here.